gonna come out here and try to kiss some goat, some ghost shrimp. We have this thing right here. So what we look for is something like this. The bubbles coming up. Boom. Just like that. That's awesome. And he was just like that, he was gone. Supposedly the best bait in the world. Meant me. Boom. There it is. Ghost shrimp. Probably some of the best bait in the world. Supposedly. The bait? The shrimp? Uh, so, see, we we're supposed to look for anything like right here. As soon as the water comes back. Oh, here's one. I saw right here. So, it, you see air coming out of it? Like right here? That's it. What are they gonna do with them? Well, you put them as bait. They have like little small little claws like a crawfish. Yeah. Is that a shrimp? Yeah, we call it ghost shrimp. So that's oh. it. And supposedly what I've heard is there's some of the best bait. Ever. Here's another one I pulled. I must have pulled out. It's a baby one. Yeah. It's gonna burrow himself back in the ground. Yeah, so like when you see it pushing water and air out, or you know. I don't know. Yeah, with this one here. There's two of them right there. Yeah, so I've seen a few videos of it, but I've never actually seen it. It's pretty cool. They caught a big one earlier. That's a pretty good side one. Yeah. They had one even bigger than that one to go. Yeah, one, thing, one thing I didn't know, but after dark, as long as they're good with it, after dark, I'll come out here and gig for stingrays. The stingrays will come up here at dark and come into the shallows. They use them for cut bait for sharks.
Here's a good side one. Here's a good side one here. Oh, is that where they're going? Oh, there you go. Me, I got a big one right there. That's a big one. I think that's the biggest one right there, isn't it? Oh, wow. All right. All right. I haven't either. That's a good size one. That's going to be a small one, I think. Or maybe nothing. All right, guys. Sorry for the voiceover. I'm learning very quickly that... When I make these videos that I, I need to talk more instead of just walk around doing what I do. But if you're in a kitchen in your own bay, pretty simple. Either A, you can do a cast net, which does take a lot of energy and does take some technique and some getting used to, which I, I have a lot of success at that. I'm not gonna complain. But if you're in a really easy, easy way to get bait, I'm telling you, ghost shrimping is a way to do it. They sell these little contraptions at the local stores. I think the one I saw in town was about $20. Um Basically, you have a handle on the side, you push, and then they got a T-handle on top, you pull at the same time. Makes it real easy and simple. But if you notice, when I'm walking around the beach, there's these little holes. And when you look at these holes, you'll see water, dirt, bubbles coming out of them. That means there's shrimp in there, ghost shrimp. Sometimes they're too small, sometimes they're really big. It just depends. But basically, put your PVC pipe over the hole, push, pull, and then you quickly splatter it on the ground. And you'll see your ghost shrimp sitting there. The longer you take, the quicker, or the, the the longer you take to retrieve it, they do start digging and they start going into the into the sand again. So you got to do retrieve them pretty fast. But really easy, really simple. Uh, I didn't pull, I didn't sweat one bit doing it. It was just fun walking in the beach and just pulling up ghost shrimp. So if you're in the kitchen, you're on bait. Might want to consider ghost shrimping. Anyways, thanks for the video. It's just a real quick, real short video. Just give us a like, subscribe. Also, check out the descriptions in below, our little Instagram, Facebook pages. Also, we did tag some people that did uh, were out there with us that have their own company as far as charters and stuff go. So please give them a look at. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Oh, just like that. Boom, boom. That's a good side.